Today, I'm going to show you how to access your My CCRI account. Go to the CCRI homepage and click Login. Click My CCRI, and you will come to the Secure Information Systems page. Now, if you do not know your username and password, you're going to come down here to Find Username and Reset Password. To click Find Username, you will need your CCRI ID number and your birth date. Once you have the information entered, click Look Up. This will provide you with your username, your email, and the last time that your MyCCRI account was logged into. If you need to change your password, you can click here. This will assume that you know your previous password. So if you just need to reset your password, you can do so here. If you need to reset your password, click Reset Forgotten Password on the left. Enter your username and click Next. There will be multiple options for you to be contacted. You can either be contacted via email or your phone number uh, via text message. So you can click the option that you like to choose. And you only need to fill in uh, digits that have been left out of the phone number. You do not need to type your whole phone number. Once you have that information in, all you need to do is click re send reset code and a text message will be sent to your phone or you'll receive a email to your email address. Once you have the information that you need to log into your MyCCRI account, click the CCRI logo at the top left hand of the page and you will come back to the CCRI homepage. Click Login, MyCCRI, and click the MyCCRI login page here. You will be brought into a secure login page where you can enter your username and password and then brought into your MyCCRI account that looks like this. You will have all of these tabs up top with the exception of these two at the end. Uh, we're going to go through each tab individually. So your MyCCRI homepage and your MyCCRI account is right here. Uh, it will hold all the event information that you need uh, for summer classes starting, when fall classes start, any virtual workshops that we have at the moment, and when we are on campus, any on-campus events. If you scroll down, you'll see CCRI Athletics, which is the nightly news, uh, which will give you a lot of information about how our CCRI athletic teams are doing. And over here is important notices for students. These notices can include financial aid information, information about registration, uh, summer registration is open at the moment, so this is all about the remote learning format, uh, which are synchronous classes, which means they have set meeting times that are online. Uh, there's also some information as you scroll down about final exams, grading systems, and any information that you may want to know. Next is the support tab, which contains important documentation that you may need during your time at CCRI. Uh, your student evaluations, which is an evaluation of your classes, is here. Information on how to pay your bill, information on viewing your grades, all of this important information that you may need during your time at CCRI. Next is My Info. Uh, this tab will help you update your personal information so we can keep in contact with you during your time at CCRI. Updating your address and phone and your email address is very important. It's our main form of communication with you. You can change your CCRI account password here as well and update your emergency contacts. Next is the For Student tab, and this tab is probably the most important tab on your MyCCRI account. Admissions application tools are up here. If you want to change your major, you can click right here. Uh, it, all of these tabs will help you change your major. A returning student uh, who is trying to get readmission to a degree or certificate program would apply here. High school students who were in Running Start or early college uh, who want to become a degree student can click here. And someone who is non-degree but wants to become a degree student can click here. You can also continue your application and save it here. Uh, Performance-based health science admissions are for allied health programs. Uh, these are important for your application into a program that has limited seats, and you can talk to your faculty member or department chair for more information. Next are your registration tools. Uh, there is another video that you can watch uh, that will cover how to register for classes, uh, but you would click add or drop classes or look up your classes uh, to register for a class. 
you can click My Schedule and you'll be able to go to your My Schedule tab and see either a grid or a table of how your schedule unfolds for the semester. Uh, you will also have access to a registration checklist, which will let you know if you are all set to register. Uh, this is summer 2020 and you can see on the top that I am cleared to register. Uh, this will also contain information about your application, if you have any holds on your account, uh, if there's any issues preventing your registration, your financial aid status, and your major and concentration. Going back to the four students tab up top here, you can also look at your financial aid eligibility and calculate your bill. Both are very important things to know when going into college. And you can click your degree works degree evaluation here. A degree works degree evaluation is one of the most important tools that you can use at CCRI. If you enter your student ID number, you'll be brought to the page that will give you a complete overview of your degree and how far along you are. If you have been at CCRI for a year and you have been taking every credit that you need to, your requirements will be at 50% for an associate degree. You can see here that I have completed 0% of my requirements. My overall GPA is 0 because I haven't taken any classes yet. And when you scroll down, you can see all of these requirements that I have yet to meet. So I still need to take college writing, and when I do, there'll be a little checkbox next to it. And that is the same for everything down here. So all my administrative office technician gen ed requirements will all need to be completed, and when they are, a little checkbox will be up here and a checkbox in each one. If you scroll down, you can see the classes that you're registered for, how many credits they are, and what term you're taking them in. You can also see that these courses are not applicable to my degree. You can also do what ifs, which will give you a projection of what your future degree could look like if you changed majors, if you decided to take a specific biology class, you can see if that's applicable. Um, there's lots of opportunities uh, to see how you would do. You can click your catalog year, your program, or you can change your program and process your what if up top. And it will tell you how far ahead you are if I was an associate in engineering. So you can see not very far along right now, uh, but I have plenty of classes to take. I suggest looking at your degree works evaluation when you register for classes in every semester to make sure that you are on track. This is a great tool to make sure that every credit that you're taking counts towards your degree. If we go back to our My Students tab, you can also see general student information. This tab is a great tab to use if you think that you've registered for classes. You can just confirm that by seeing if you are registered for a term up here. It will also give you information about what major and department and degree you're in. That way you can make sure that you're in the major that you want to be in. This is also great to confirm if you have recently filed a change your major form. Back to students tab. Another great tool to use is this Starfish. Starfish is a program that puts all of the departments at CCRI online. So you can see here that our admissions, advising, career services, everything is online that you can access. There is a video underneath the Starfish login here that will show you how to schedule appointments, but you can also access your faculty members, your professors, your department through Starfish. It's a great tool to use to make sure that you're talking to the right people. Next is financial aid information. You can view your award, which means how much money you're getting through financial aid, and you can also accept your loans or decline your loans here. Important dates are dates that your FAFSA is due and awards are given out. This information is super important. If you are applying to financial aid, make sure that you know your dates. You can also go over what your award looks like by clicking Award Overview. You can also make sure that you are still financial aid eligible by checking your SAP, which means Satisfactory Academic Progress. SAP are rules that have been laid out by the federal government to determine financial aid eligibility, and it's important to make sure that you still follow into that criteria if you are relying on financial aid. Next is the Rhode Island Promise application. If you are a Rhode Island resident who went to high school in Rhode Island and graduated in either the spring or summer before the following fall semester where you enroll in CCRI, you are eligible for free 
Community College. This is an incredible program. If you do meet those requirements or you think you may meet those requirements, please reach out to advising or enrollment services or admissions. Pretty much anyone can help you with Promise applications and Promise eligibility. Down here you can see your financial aid requirements and you can also see your entire account balance down here. I'm not registered for any classes for fall 2020, so as you can see my balance is zero, uh, but if you are registered your balance will come down here. Next is the My Schedule tab. Here you can select a term and it will give you a layout of your semester. So you can either have a table or a grid and you can print it out down here. If I had registered for any classes, they would be listed here. It is also very important to mention the avoid for drop for non-payment. If you are registered for a class and you do not think you can make that class, withdraw or drop the class yourself. Do not be dropped for non-payment. Dropping for non-payment can mess with your financial aid and your academic future. There's another video on how to drop classes that you can ask your advisor for through Starfish. Please speak to your advisor before you decide to drop any classes to make sure that you are doing so properly. Next is the My Account tab, which will reroute you to a secure payment website. Uh, it is where you can make payments, set up a payment plan, or do any refunds on your account. And that is your MyCCRI account. You can also access your student email up here and log out. Make sure you log out to protect your information and you are all set. Have a great semester.